Okay, this is a first for me. I've never done a video of me throwing, but I'm making these cute Rottweiler banks, and they're a special custom just for the Rottweiler Health Foundation. So I thought I might show everybody how I make them. Start with two pounds of clay. I'm using a brown clay body because I think it's closer to the mahogany on a Rottweiler. I always measure my clay out. So this is exactly two pounds. Now I'm gonna center it which is probably the hardest part of pottery, but my favorite part. Now this might look a little awkward. Um, my thumbs are shot from 40 years of being a potter. So I now have to open the pot with my pointer finger. And this is kind of a new thing for me. I'm just, I just learned this week how to do it to preserve what's left of my thumb. So that went pretty good. I think sometimes because it's something new for me, I tend to throw off my pot a little bit, not as centered. Um, I'm going to measure the bottom. Everything's like a half inch to me, maybe one centimeter. Um, <laughs> I don't really know, but to me that's thick enough. And that bottom is actually going to be the pigs or the Rottweilers. But so now I'm just going to move my clay, pull it all up. I once worked with a really great potter, and she said you should be able to pull your pot up in six pulls. I must not be a great potter because it takes me, I think, more than six to get where I want to go the pot. And I'm going to leave a little more clay on the top. So this is called stopping the clay. I squeeze it between the fingers of my left hand and uh, push down with my right. Now I'm going to collar it because I don't want this to get too wide. This is where the cork is going to go from my Rottweiler piggy bank. So now I'm just going to take all the extra clay and move it up, which will make my Piggy bank a little taller. And I'm kind of looking for that piggy bank shape. That's what I'm doing right here. Now I think there's an air bubble. I felt like it. There it is. So, not a big deal. I'll just pop it with my needle tool. There it is. Air bubble. Right there. I guess I didn't wedge. I really didn't. I just cut it off a fresh. Um, bag of clay. But if you don't want air bubbles, you should really wedge your clay good. Okay, I'm going to collar my muzzle. If it was a pig, it would be a snout. Because these are Rottweilers, it's a muzzle. I'm really not paying attention to the 9 to 10 um, that's in our Rottweiler standard because it's a piggy bank, not a real Rottweiler. Okay. So I like to measure, not that I can really read a ruler. But I want it around two and a half because I think that's what my corks are going to be. You can always shave down your corks if they're too big. I'm going to get rid of our excess clay down here. Just remove all this. No 
Okay, stay tuned for part two.